All right, so this video is going to be about DNA sequencing. Um, there is the Sanger method, which is based on the random termination of the DNA due to the dideoxynucleotides. And uh, it's, yep, the random termination is accomplished by dideoxynucleotide triphosphates. And they use fluorescent deoxy ribonucleotides traits are used for automatic recording of the fragment length. So we'll see that in the pictures. We can explain that better there. <coughs> and then direct sequencing. So you just uh, sequence it um, as it's just going. You just let it run through the gel, and you don't have to worry about the smaller ones running out of gel. That's much faster. All right, so uh, application of the dideoxynucleotides in DNA sequencing. We have deoxy, de uh, deox the regular DNA, deoxyribose nucleoside, and then you have the dideoxy. So at the three prime end in a regular DNA, ba uh, regular DNA molecule is supposed to have OH. At the three prime side and not the three prime side over here, the OH is missing so it cannot be extended anymore so this is the dideoxy adenine over here so then you cannot put the G guanine over here to extend it because the OH group is missing and uh, usually they put 1% uh, dideoxy and 99% deoxy so here's an example so you want to figure out what the sequence of this is so they're pretending that they don't know what the sequence is for this one over here so then you put the primer here and then it's gonna extend it um, so it's gonna extend five prime to three prime over here and then you have Four separate test tubes. One is going to have the regular D and TPs. So these ones D adenine triphosphate, deoxy guanine triphosphate, and so on. Um, so then, then you're going to get like when you run the gel electrophoresis, you're going to get this. So this is showing that you have two G's and two A's, two C's and two T's. And then you read it like this. So the first one is going to be C, you read it from the bottom, because that's the shortest. And that's, if, it's the sh if it's the shortest, then it's the first, because it went through the gel the most. So that's going to be C. And the C is going to come here. And then the next one's A, A. Next one's going to be T, T. And then you got G, G, then A, G, then C, and then T. So, so C, A, T, G, A, G, and then C, T. Yep, so that's how you read it and so you read this five prime three prime so five prime at the bottom and three prime at the top that's how you read the sequence and then this is the automated dna sequencing so you have the unknown sequence and then you have to know the you have to know the sequence of the primer and then you put it here and then you'll extend out after the primer then you know what the sequence is past the primer and then you have the four DNTPs, but they are dilabeled um, with fluorescence, and then they're gonna stop at random lengths, and then this, and then you take that test tube and put it through the gel, and you run it through the gel, and you don't have to worry about it running through the bottom because the laser beam is gonna keep recording what is uh, what the color is and it's gonna and the computer is gonna create a graph like this and then you're gonna the computer is gonna tell you the sequence of 
this unknown template over here. And a summary for the PCR and DNA. So PCR is a tool to analyze the DNA as well as a tool to clone DNA. So you can multiply DNA and you can analyze it like such as sequencing it. And you can and you need a heat stable RNA polymerase and um, you can PCR up to 10,000 papers, 20 to 10,000 for if you want to amplify mRNA then you have to first make it into cDNA by using the reverse transcriptase and then you can take that cDNA and then run it through take cDNA and then run it through PCR and you can amplify it that way um, the ratio of the dideoxy to deoxy nuclear the uh, length of the DNA fragments and sequencing and the dideoxy sequencing are rate right, 5 prime to 3 prime so so this is basically saying you read this 5 prime to 3 prime CG and PCR and DNA sequencing products are usually identified the measuring the fluorescence uh, mm -hmm. And the overview of recombinant DNA techniques. So you have total genomic DNA, and then you want to do specific cloning, then you could do polymerase with in vitro, with the tag polymerase, or most stable DNA polymerase, sequencing information and labeling synthesis of specific oligonucleotide primers. And then you could do, you could uh, have it transferred to a cell into E. coli or something with the help of a virus. Um, then we're going to talk about this more next lecture. Uh, and then you can use a RNA probe to detect RNA 